Good morning. I'm starting today's vlog in a very wet and rainy Cardiff Central train station. We're on our way all the way up to North Wales today for the National Ice Deadwood and I've been standing here for ages waiting for the announcements to stop and they're just coming in thick and fast. So I'll just have to shout. I'm just heading down to meet IB and Dan in the car and then we're going to set off from there. I have arrived at our rendezvous point. Dan and I be a little bit late, but I found a tree to shelter under. Well, we're en route up north. We're all feeling a little bit pensive and concerned, aren't we, chaps, <laughs> about the timing? Uh, it's, yeah, mm. traffic. It's starting to rain now and all. So at the moment, we're in Hereford, moving very, very slowly, as you can see. Now things got a little bit complicated because Dan had a look at the festival website earlier and they've got this system in place, they're trying to control the volume of traffic so they're diverting people up different routes depending on which part of Wales they're coming from so we sort of were setting out on the one that they advised but we're just not moving <laughs> and we have to be there for a gig and also what we didn't take into account was that we don't apparently have uh, artists parking so that means we've got to go with the general public car park which is out of town and then we have to get on a shuttle bus to the site which is going to add a lot of time onto the getting there. At the moment our ETA is about half four. No, well, it's a bit sooner it? than that if we go quicker. Oh, okay, maybe a bit quicker. Yeah, four. Be there for four, okay. Well, the gig's at five, sound checks at half four, but you know, it takes a while to get in, get festival passes, find the venue, and get your composure back if you've been rushed as well. There's nothing worse than just rushing onto stage and feeling all panicky, and it's hard to focus then. That looks like an interesting shot. Well, isn't it? I'll go and zoom, find out what's there. Mmm, sweeties. Oh, look at that donuts, cakes, and fruit. Random aubergines. Do you want to go in the front of it? I'm, I'm about to go to sleep within half an hour. No, I'm alright. No, I'll stay awake in the moment. God, look at this rain! Apparently, it's as steady as just a field. You get overlooked. If you're a, if you're a second part of the alphabet, you get overlooked apparently in life. You know, it's just one of these things. Oh. Like Stephen Fryer. Well, I don't know how serious, I'm sure it's serious, well, I mean, I don't know what sample size. I always kind of felt like I wasn't in the cool gang, because my surname started with a, a letter much later on in the alphabet. <laughs> it's like a hierarchy, unspoken. Yeah, well. Imogen Aardvark, see, I'd have been a high flyer if that had been my name. It's a pretty beautiful landscape out there. Trying to put all my parts in order here, just my crib notes really. I don't read it on stage, but I just glance down occasionally at structures. I don't know if I get car sick. Oh, it always happens. It's about 2.40 now. We've made up some lost time actually. I think we diverted onto another route and the traffic's okay at the moment. Hmm, more or less okay. There's a place called Knockin down there. K N O C K I N, Knockin. Yeah, apparently, right, I've said a couple of times on vlogs now that I've knocked up some food. Right, let me just point out, I mean, like, put it together. Somebody's kindly uh, informed me in the comment section that it means to inadvertently get somebody pregnant. I've definitely not done that to any of my sandwiches. <laughs> I'll try not to ever say that again in a vlog, sorry about that. <laughs> the sandwich is in labour! Push! Push! <laughs> I'm gonna have a bit of a nosh on this now, see if I can settle my stomach. No oh, thanks love, I'm gonna have some pasta, spinach and pine kernels. IB's in fine voice again. So due to heavy traffic, our ETA has just been pushed further and further into the future to the point that we are really pushing it now and we're kind of getting to the point of despair and 
horror. There really is nothing worse, honestly. It's awful when you're Sorry. flustered and rushing. So, not looking forward to the shuttle, you know, you're like waiting for the shuttle bus to come and it's just not coming. And then, oh, it takes ages. So it's 3.12 now and our ETA is 4.45, isn't it? Gig is meant to start at five, sound check was meant to be half four. But it'll be what it'll be. But we've got to get on to you think it's 4.35? What, at the entrance? The at the car park, right, so we've got the shuttle bus we'll then, the haven't we? Bus, oh. get to the place, get to get in. Oh, God, blimey. IB's going to contact one of the guys there and see if he can arrange for somebody to collect our tickets and it's meet us at the gate the to, to get us through more quickly. I've been on the move since 10 o'clock this morning. And now we're stationary again. Sat nav or Google Maps, whatever it is, has just suddenly jumped back in time and says we should be there at eight minutes past four, but we don't want to update in case it's some kind of weird fluky glitch and just jump straight back up again. But we have rung ahead to say that we're, you know, struggling to get there. Any gigging musicians watching this now will just know, they just know that, that feeling in your guts when you're like, oh, oh no. Dan was just saying it's not the gig that's the source of the stress as much as the travelling and getting there on time and getting in place. Time of arrival has now jumped down to... 16.07! 16.07! It's the magic time of arrival! Thank you, yes, I am an actor, yes. I am an actor on stage. Alas, boy Yorick! Or I knew I, actually, him well. I know you're good at voiceovers because you've already done one. Oh, yes. <laughs> because the most convincing fellow of Christmas on the planet. Oh, did he? Oh, I forgot oh. about that. Brian James Opticians, which are customers, a very happy Christmas. Something like that was it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're doing all right now. Don't worry about it. There's this, a little dithering. This looks like we're going to be on that stage on time. I don't want to. Mind you, the fact they've got no service. Oh, there's a pink thing. It's a wedding cake. Oh, what's going on? It's made out of hay bales or something, isn't it? We're still not there. What's our ETA now, chaps? Uh, 1611. Uh, okay. Ooh, it's a headless, headless thing. Six miles out. There we are. I mean, I'd say wee wee on your vlog. Yeah, I say wee wee on the vlog all the time. Yeah. I need to be saying Welsh. I need to. <laughs> is that what it translates as, literally? Oh, yeah, dur is water in Dur, yeah. Make dur. A grenade. 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 I think I'd just say Duyang and PP. I'd make half of that up. If you know, can you write in the comments, I need a wee in Welsh, just so I know. Is it Duyang and wee wee or Duyang and PP? My right to be Kyle PP. We are getting ever closer. I don't think that's our one. Predictably, as we near it, the traffic slows back down again. Is there here? Let's go in there. Why can't we go in it? We're having a spot of trouble finding the car park now. Is there a bus? That's it. Should we go here then? Okay, so we've arrived in a random field. I don't know if we're supposed to park in here. There are some other cars parked in here, but it's eight minutes past four. We're supposed to be sound checking really soon, and we got quite a walk back that way. There's no sign of a shuttle bus or anything. Uh, so we're just on foot going now. I've actually managed to lose the boys. Literally just walked through the field and looked around and they weren't there or in the car. I think they might have tried to climb over the fence. I think I might see them. I had the same thought but it looked like navigating through a ditch so I decided not to do it and there was barbed wire. No that's not them. Perhaps they're trying to do it now. I'll have a quick look. Okay I found them. There was a flipping gap in the hedge where the car was parked. They just went through it. I went all the way around but I can see them. It's okay we've got to go over a road bridge there and make our way over the main road and back down into the mice which means the field which is what they call the area where the ice death fod is taking place. Here we are just getting over the uh, road bridge there. I think we're just gonna make it you know. I don't know, I need a pee. 
I hope I've got time to go, otherwise I'll be stuck on stage for two hours. Rhoeso, your rice Stafford. Beautiful area, huh? Excuse any shaky footage, I just ran over a road bridge with all my gear. Uh, rush, 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 we got our tickets, we got in, and off we go, nearly there. We're in the green and white room here. <laughs> it's tea and coffee making facilities, fridge, tap. I'm knackered now. Oh, that was stressful. <laughs> We're in time. In fact, they're overrunning, I think, maybe. Not sure if they're overrunning. I haven't looked at the clock. I just know now we'll be summoned when we're needed, so that's okay. I'm in the Tiguerin now, which means the folk house, and I'm traumatised after that journey and cutting it so fine. But we're just going to set up now and sound check, and then we're off to do the gig. I mean, you know what I mean. All finished. Oh, that was great. It went really well. Went down really well. Oh, just trying to decide what to do now because we've got to get to Bristol, haven't we, Dan? <laughs> I'm in post gig days now. <sighs> I need a cup of tea after all that. Let's go to the green room. Tea is that way in the track tent. That's our little temporary home. <laughs> just while we're here. Well, I like these big armchair thingies, they're good, aren't they? Hello, Dean. Oh look, Dan's getting the kettle on and everything. He's so good to us, aren't you, Dan? Oh, that's off. Oh, it's one of those ones that's either on or off and not in between. Just a bit worrying. I don't think you broke it. Yeah, stop now. It's an stop. One. Don't worry, everybody. It's okay. <laughs> so I'm just Mindy T bar. Just going to the loo. Desperate, I am. That was a long gig. That was an hour and a half. That was. I had a bit of a water shortage on stage so I filled up IB's bottle that he had brought for me to drink in the car thinking you know that's my water and uh, he got a bit of a thirst on right at the start of the gig and went can I have some and he just went mm, 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 and he kept doing that for ages mm, and then went ah, gave it back to me and there was like a fifth of it left it was well greedy but a really nice bloke went and got me a water bottle and brought it to me on stage that was very nice of him I never feel like my hands are properly clean when I use these instead of water. Oh, there it is. The beloved, luscious cup of course, everyone else has gone for a pint. Well, apart from Dan. Dan doesn't drink. I'm going to go and join them in a minute. We've got to get to the travel lodge after this, right down in Bristol. It's somewhere we have stayed before. It's kind of our regular travel lodge that we quite often stay in if we've got an early flight and the flight tomorrow is early. It's 7.30 in the morning, so we have to be at the airport by 5.30. So we're not going to get a lot of sleep. And then when we arrive in Paris the next morning, we have, I think, two trains to catch to get to Lorient, the festival. So exciting times, eh? Cheers. I haven't seen a sink like this. It's not plumbed in, obviously, so just sort of collects in there. And what have we got in here? I'm having a little snoop now, I'm all on my own. Aha, T. Buthin Gwerin. Oh, it's to do with track and Clara, but not open at the moment. Like in the hanging baskets, nice touch. I've come to the bar with the boys. This word here, Suched, means thirst. So that's where you go to quench it. Oh, like Greg. Look, he loves being in the vlog. Somebody recognised him recently from being in the vlog. I thought that was very entertaining. <laughs> it's pretty windy and the sky's looking quite dramatic at the moment. It doesn't seem to be dampening anyone's spirits here, though. Yeah, I'm going to push on everything a bit. I've got to love the ice there, Todd. shoot straight off and get down to Bristol. We'll just have a quick look round here, I can't help myself. Piano's Cymru. Oh look, it's interesting isn't it? 
Oh no, the rain is coming. It's in here. Stuck in. Ah, this one's all quiet and closed too. Looks very cosy though. I'm digging the teacups. Well, I'm out of the rain, but I think I need to go and uh, get back to my band and get on the road. Just coming back to the green room, look past the mice bee. Look, some mice bee roll for you. I'm gonna put the camera away. It's getting wet. I love the sound of raindrops on tents. I'm gonna to need to get my rain mac out. <sighs> my bag's got one too, actually. I haven't used it before. I found it the other day when I was sorting stuff out for the move. Might fit, because it's from another bag. Oh, that's not in shot. Hang on. And it worked. It's chucking it down now, isn't it? Look at it. I don't know where everyone's gone. I thought they were following me over. I'm going to do that up over my camera once it's in. Well, my nan said to knit your GoPro now. It's time to use the GoPro now. Do you know, it's kept its charge. It's still got 85% battery and I haven't used it in ages and haven't charged it in ages. Hmm. Doesn't look very cool, does it? But I'm just trying to figure out how not to destroy my gear and band folder. I'm traipsing through the rain now. Mind you, that certainly sounds like it's uh, clearing up a bit now. Come on then, let's go. Let's go brave the elements. Oh, well. After all that, it's cleared up. It's typical, isn't it? Starting to get a bit muddy now. What's going on here? It's like white scene of the crime marks on the grass here. I think they must have been clown knack trunk. There's another one. Wind is picking up as you can see, which reminds me I don't have any wind guards on this camera, so apologies for any wind noise. I must remember to stick some fluffits on. Bye Dean! Got some serious mud going on down there in the car park. Look at that. Oh, I hope ours isn't that bad. I don't expect it will be. Ours didn't seem to be half as full. And uh, we didn't even arrive till, you know, half past four in the afternoon. So probably the main traffic of the day had been and gone by then. It's very thistly underfoot. You don't want to tread on that with your bare feet, do you? And don't tread on that either. There'll be tears. Time to load the car up. Dan's got a different car now. And these doors do not self-close. Look. Ta-da. What luxury. That's my unfinished food from earlier. I didn't have much appetite before the gig, but I have now. This is what happens. Oh, oh blimey. Yeah, food on the way back. Yeah, we could do. This won't keep me going for long. It's a tiny little bit. Go M6, M5. No, it's just M5 at Birmingham. Well, I'm feeling a lot more relaxed on the way back than I was on the way up, that's for sure. It is now 8.26. He's looking at bus times for the morning. We've got to leave really early. Oh, it's gorgeous, look at that. I just cannot find a counter like the one we used to have. I probably updated it and made it worse in the process. It's half past nine at night now, it's getting quite dark. We're uh, probably going to stop at a Burger King, I think, for a bite to eat. I can't say that. Other, other um, burger <laughs> establishments are available. Oh, well, maybe they are might they? give you sponsors. You might get sponsorship. <laughs> You're not allowed to, surely you're not allowed to yeah, promote. Sponsored by Burger King. Yeah, we just say what we're doing, don't we? Not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, it smells oh, burning. Yeah, it can smell burning. Just burning. There we are. Not sure I really want anything from Burger King, but I think I'm probably going to have to have something. Oh, it's closed. Everyone's gutted. Lose. There's quite a good 
ceiling in this toilet. Look at that. Seagulls and everything. I like it. We're having band wees and reconfiguring our plans. I'm on the baby leaf salad here and I must say I am really enjoying it. It tastes nice. I think it's because it's been slowly warmed in the sun throughout the afternoon. <laughs> It's slightly like unfair having it. It's that an illuminated Starbucks sign when the, even the Starbucks was shut. Was shut. Everything was shut. Yeah. Time is up. 9.41 at night. It's 10.17. We're still on the road. We still haven't found anywhere to eat. I have got stashed in my bag some emergency pot noodles so if we make it back to the travel lodge by whatever time we're getting there 20 to 12 and we still haven't eaten there's always pot noodles it's about half past 10 at night now and we're trying a service station now moto garage costa is open boys are just finishing paying I'm just going to have a coffee and a toasty. Food is here. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to figure out where to get the bus from tomorrow and we just can't figure it out from anything on the mobile. We've got about another hour to go now and I'm going to go in the front for a bit. IB's going to have a sleep in the back and then we'll get to the travel lodge hopefully off we go then travel lodge here we come four minutes to midnight and all's well we're in bristol now shouldn't be too much longer hopefully we've come across a lot of surface water on the roads here some really really massive puddles but we're going uphill now so I don't suppose we'll see any more. There's the Clifton Suspension Bridge. There it is, look. Clifton Suspension Bridge. I thought we hang a left and then it's basically on the right. Twenty to one in the morning we're finally in our travel lodge room and it looks a bit like this. We didn't have any twin rooms so they've just put us in a family room so it's like bed henge in here. <laughs> We've got four beds, well a double and two singles. There's me on the bed looking shattered. We're not going to be sleeping for very long. The bus goes from just outside, luckily, which goes to the airport and that's at ten to five tomorrow so we really want to be getting out of here by about four forty say so, just to be on the safe side and be ready in time do hit that subscribe button if you want to see what happens next we're off to Paris in the morning and then two trains down to Lorient on like two or three hours sleep so that's gonna be interesting uh, don't forget to like the video if you liked it it helps the channel to grow comment down any thoughts below and I'll see you in the next one goodbye